Hello guys and welcome to a gameplay of Firewatch. Basically we talk about why we are out here Later that she is a psycho and she tells me that well I don't remember now. But yeah, this is the day one. And she wants us to respond to her. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Where? What? She's east or west or north or... I need you to confirm, do you see them? Whoa, oh, yeah. that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Kick the shit out of him, sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just <laughs> make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good code, though. I think I'll use that as my password now, from now on. Okay, we are there and so we should go west. This direction is fine. Cause it's like three from three to six hours long. more like a movie than a game. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. Wait, let me eat it. Alright then. 
can see him. <coughs> I, they should be around here, right? Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. <clears throat> what about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's uh, actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Alright. I want... Oh, okay. I had to do it this side of the thing. And now... Okay then. Good, no, no, no. Oh shit. Oh fuck. That's fucked up. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. <laughs> First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. Okay. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Let's run. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold musquelite on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Or else I don't find anymore. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I don't know how long is this video. Maybe it will end right here. Okay, uh... Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them.
Tino. <laughs> Holy shit. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain <laughs> professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? <laughs> Wait, no, oh no, why did I click it? Damn. Another bra. There's a, uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country. <laughs> you should be free to do whatever yeah, you want. free from any peeping tongue. I said sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Mark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. <laughs> Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Can't go for a moment. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules <coughs> out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Yay. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I think this was not the way. <laughs> but anyway. a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. <clears throat> it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Good stars. Anyway, <laughs> let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> I don't want... I don't want to get a lot here.
Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Suicide? What? <laughs> I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, Stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Uh, what? Okay. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. <laughs> she loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Hello? I bless the rains down in Africa! <laughs> I got a main ring. Wedding ring? I didn't know. Okay. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, what the I don't hell? think so. Henry, there's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Uh, okay. This is a long one. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I 
took care of the Black Path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Okay. What is this? Ah! You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? <laughs> Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. My typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh, it's turn. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. This was it for the episode. Like day one. Wake up! I guess it's pretty cold. But yeah. Hey, wake up! Wait, thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>